Hi, it's Megan. I have gotten a whole bunch of boxes in the past couple days. Um, and so this is a video for one of the items that was in one of the boxes. You might notice my eyes look slightly different. That's because I have mascara on the left eye, but not on the right. So when I was in Korea, um, I found this mascara that I absolutely fell in love with. And so I've just gotten a case of them and they're gonna be on the Essential Beauty website. And I'm gonna show you on camera what is so cool about this mascara. Um, and if you like the fake mascara look, this is, I think, the best mascara I've found. So, it is by Etude House. This is what it looks like in the box. It's the Lash Perm 3-Step Volume Cara and Curling Mascara. And so Etude House is a brand that is owned by Amore Pacific. It's one of those kind of girly, pink, uh, fabulous, that uh, targets a younger population brands. But what I really like about Etude House is I just I find the quality amazing. Um, so the mascara looks like this. And what's really cool about this is you have three steps. And so you twist the packaging to go from step one, two, and three. And I have no idea how it works. I mean, absolutely zero idea at all. I don't know if you're just applying another coat after applying, I, I just, I don't get it. But whatever it does, it works. So, you take out the wand. So we're at one, step one right now. And this is what the wand looks like. So it's a curved wand. And it's supposed to curl and define the lashes. And the one thing I find, with this mascara is that I have to be super careful, especially with the first go around, not to put too much because it really builds up. And as with any kind of fake eyelash, pseudo fake eyelash kind of mascara, you have to be also, I have to be careful not to let it clump. So I think we can see it starting to curl. Uh, so we close it. Now we're going to go to step two. It's just a twist. And I'm actually not going to put any more on my lower lashes because I find with step one, I put so much on my lower lashes, it really just doesn't need any more. You can see how beautifully it applies. It's only with step three that I have to be careful not to clump, but I definitely do. I actually, honestly, when I wear this mascara, I usually don't go all the way to step three just because I find that's a little bit of overkill. And like I said, I love this so much. This is gonna, this is on the Essential Beauty site, and hopefully, oh, I just clumped it up a little. So you can see with step three, you have to be really careful not to clump it up, and I just clumped it up. So I usually stop at step two, but if you want to keep going, I'm actually gonna fix that. I know I could go get a brush, but I'm not going to. Well, it applied better the first time around. Of course, when I do it on camera, it's going to apply less perfectly. Okay, now I got it. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like. So you can see, it just makes for these really thick, beautiful, lush lashes. I really, I love it. Um, and it's idiot-proof, mostly, since I obviously just did it wrong on camera. It's not completely idiot-proof. This one idiot can attest to that. That's pretty much all I have to say about this mascara. I would love to get thoughts, comments, suggestions, feedback, anything you have to say. I'm curious to hear. And I'm going to end this video now. Please subscribe on YouTube. That does help me a lot. Thanks.